What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a very, very exciting first Innistrad cube draft. This is my Innistrad cube. I'll put the link to the cube in the description. Um, and uh, we're at five of eight players currently, so... I drafted already and did my first match. Black Green Manus Vampire is so fun. Sweet. That's awesome to hear, man. I'm really glad to hear that. That's great news. I want to go to a plane where there aren't massive spiders. Oh, there aren't any. Sorry. That's just how it goes. Magic is a spidery game. Six of eight. Come on. Let's go. Two people. Ain't asking a lot here. Well, we'll go down here for now as we wait. Okay, we're doing it. We're popping off. Oh my god, two Sorens in the same pack? This is a have and go library. In the original cube I had, this was um, Hawkins Laboratory from the Stranger Things Secret Lair. Man, this is cool. <laughs> it's it's funny because I've actually, I haven't memorized a lot of the cards. I knew what they were when I put them in, but something like Volatile Arsonist, you just don't play it enough to really like remember all of this text. Um, so like sometimes, yeah, it's like, what, wait, what is the exact thing that you do? Um, geez. Soren the Mirthless is good. Soren Grim Nemesis is good. I just like Soren Grim Nemesis. I also I also love Planeswalkers. Because I'm a fucking nerd. Um Bl Blood Crypt is pretty flavorful. Oh. I'm gonna take this black I'm gonna take Grim Nemesis. I think that oh, and we get we get a Blood Baron of Viscopa. That's a sweet dude. Hey Tony! Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Hmm. Hold on one second. Pop that down. Bring this up. I'm trying to move something right now. Okay. Yeah, I think we just have to take Blood Baron. That guy just seems... There is an opposite out in the queue, but I'm actually tempted to take him out. I know that sounds weird. But the spirit theme in the cube is blue-white. And Obsidat's this weird black-white spirit, but it has no, like, real synergies. It's just kind of flavorful. Anyway, we're taking Blood Baron, because that guy is a beast. I also love Drog Skull Reaver. That card is cool. Oh, is this a black? Oh, yeah, there we go. That's a nice one. Let's take a little pathway. On color pathway seems good here. Invasion of Innistrad. More of a zombie card than a vampire card, though. And we got kind of a vampire thing going here. Black white is also the vampire uh, archetype. Voldaren Pariah. So it's a 3-3 flyer for 5. Not great, but you can transform it by sacrificing 3 creatures. And then when it transforms, they sacrifice 3 creatures. And it's a 6-5 flyer. So, fascinating. I think I just want Flooded Strand in case we get Godless Shrine or a um, Tri-Land. Sinister Concoction, also interesting. <laughs> flavor is good but I'd also like to have the cards also we could just take Celestial Purge I think I'm taking Celestial Purge I think in two color deck I'm actually oh Plain Swamp fantastic 
Um, Army of the Damned is pretty sweet. Probably hard to beat 13 zombies. A little expensive, though. Okay, well, I guess we're taking that. I meant to move the, the land over here, but then it took it, so that's where we're at right now. Uh, Triskaidekaphobia. Exile to one card from a graveyard, then draw a card. That's a zombie boy. Hmm, that's not where we want to be. We'll just take Vampire Slayer. It's just a 2-2. Two -two. That pack was not great for us. Um, whenever you... Veto's pretty sweet. I mean, especially with... Um, this gains us life for negative X. This guy also has lifelink. <clears throat> Faithbound Judge is a spirit. We're going to take this. We're going to take the Veto. Veto seems real good. Oh, Seraph of the Scales. That's pretty sweet. This is, it's pretty sweet, but it's also a card I was tempted to remove. Because again, like, we don't have an angel theme in black white and it's also it makes spirits so again it's like kind of overlapping also we have aim for the head which is a nice little uh nice little sideboard card exiles a zombie or they just get mind rotted yeah we're gonna take seraph though Um, Olivia's Bloodsworn is a little better for the Madness deck. Actually, it's fine. Yeah, I think it's just a 2-1 flyer for 2. It should be fine. Mm. Yeah, it's better than the Kiltilda Dawnheart. We're just not going to have many... Oh, Murderous Compulsion seems good. Clifftop Retreat. Hmm. I don't think we're going to be splashing any red cards. I'll still take it just in case. Oh, man. That's a bummer. We have Harmless Offering and we also have um, Demonic Pact in the cube. I'll just take this big fat octopus. So I am in a pod where where no one is appreciating the red blue deck. So mm. speak of the devil. Oh, Savitrium and Marsh Flats. That's pretty good. Also, Liliana Dreadhorde General is probably phenomenal. I wonder if one of these will come back. <laughs> yeah, pack three is the channel pack. Okay, so I actually didn't recognize Falconrath Forebear because in my cube, um, it's actually the Dracula Blood Immortal. So I was like, wait, what card is this? I don't recognize this at all. So I do think it's Liliana here. Like, I'd love to take a land, but I think Liliana is actually fantastic. And one of these could come back. And in a two-color deck, I'm actually fine with that. Oh, so we also get Rafine's Tower, which is also a dual land. Soren's Vengeance is sweet. Um, Let's take Rafine's Tower. That seems good. Uh, Legion Lieutenant. Okay. Okay. Got a little, little white black vampire lord here. Also, Cliff, Clifftop Retreat does let, it, let us splash um, like some red black madness cards. 
like like terminal agony for example but yeah i'll just take the legion lieutenant here oh isolated man i'm satisfied with the lands in here i i feel like we've had a bunch of chances to get a good a bunch of good black black white lands <sighs> all right we're gonna take isolated chapel skeletal vampire is also really good if you can get that guy going Varagoth goes with the um the demon theme in here. There's also a demon theme with um what's the card called? Uh Liliana's contract. So at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control four or more demons with different names, you win the game. So do that. I think it's fine to take just Olivia's Dragoon here. We can also take Hanged Executioner. I almost like Hanged Executioner better. I think the ability to just exile a creature is probably better than just having generic 2-2 two -two zombie, or 2-2 two -two vampire. From the Catacombs. Hmm. Yeah, we're definitely taking from the Catacombs, I think. Everything else is zombie-based or human-based. Gristlebrand. I think I'm just taking Gristlebrand. <laughs> I have a lot of big mana cards here. Yeah, we're just taking Gristlebrand. We can also get a, a discard outlet and from the Catacombs Gristlebrand. That's an option. Edgar Charmed Groom. Another, another Vampire Lord. That seems really good. Yeah, we're definitely taking Charmed Groom here. I feel like we're getting a lot of... I feel like we're getting a lot of good vampire cards. I can't even say if that's a late Gitrog, because I don't know what to expect in terms of how late a Gitrog should come. Actually, these are both eight, which actually isn't too unreasonable. Uh, easy Falconrath Forebearer, I guess. Oh, I like a Soren's Vengeance. We're obviously not going to be feeding Frenzy. Exile a Spirit, Creature with Disturbed, or an Enchantment. Maybe that's actually the correct... Dealing 10 damage, that's just going to kill somebody, right? That's going to be... That's going to be brutal. Does this cube show up on MTGO with a cool wooden box and heavy metal dice? Unfortunately, no. They wouldn't let me implement those. Oh, yeah. Skeletal Vampire coming back? Give it to me. Give it to Pops. Big Pops. Thank you. Josh with the gifted subs. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, I like Olivia's Dragoon. That was a discard outlet I kind of wanted for Thank like Gristlebrand or, you know, other things. Also, Varagoth might just be decent as a 2-3. You don't have to have demons. Thank you. I took the other one. It's fine. Thank 
thank you. Well, last pick for Lucranos. Eighteen. Stewart with the three gifted subs. Needs to be thirteen. Sounds good. Oh, what up, Bort? I got a little resto Thank here. You. Captain N Nagathrod. That's a horror pirate, just so you know. Cordial vampire. When he when Thank him you. or another creature dies, put a one-on-one counter on each vampire. That's pretty good. Or another creature dies. Any other creature, not just your vampires, by the way. Uh, there's Olivia Crimson Bride. I also had this as the, the Dracula version, which is like three sisters, I think. Just because they're cool. I don't know, man. What do you want from me? Also, Resto. Do we just take Resto? We don't have a ton of things that are super valuable. We can blink Skeletal Vampire. We can blink Hanged Executioner. I'm wondering if it's just Cordial Vampire. Also, Manor Gargoyle is was wildly busted in Innistrad draft. I don't know if it's as busted here, but also it looks like the survive Triumph or the Marsh Flats. Neither came back. Uh, why not Emrakul in the cube? Yeah, it's just not, it's just not a fun card. Yeah, I'm just taking Cordial Vampire, I guess. Oh, Soren Imperious Bloodlord is a beast. Also Shattered Sanctum, another dual land. Right now we have like three duels. It's pretty good. Two color deck. I think we're just taking Sorry Imperius Bloodlord. And then hoping for champion. Archfiend of Spite. Six, six for seven, but you can madness it for five. Whenever a source and opponent controls deals damage to it, that source's control loses that much life unless they sacrifice that many permanents. Indulgent Aristocrat. Put a one on counter on each vampire you control again. I think I like Devout Decree here. I like taking uh, s the sideboard, especially if someone's taking like Marsh Flats and uh, the Savai Triome. I feel like there's going to be other black-white drafters. My duel is also named Bort. They had the cards mixed with the cartography of QQ at first? What? That's wild. Oh, man. That's hilarious. That's not correct. No, don't like that. Fabled Passage. Also, this Sarah's good. I like Doom Foretold as well. I think we're just taking this Sarah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Poorly, I'd guess. <laughs> yeah. How did that even work? Not well. There is not a landfall archetype in this cube. I know, shock to, to everyone. Landfall was not as popular in Innistrad. I know, I know. I know, it's wild. I drafted Azorius artifacts in the horror cube. Definitely not an archetype in your cube. That's correct. That is actually correct. Here's an Ever After. Return to two creatures from your graveyard to the battlefield. They are black zombies. And then it goes in the bottom. Or we can take a Vampire Hex Mage. I think we have enough six drops. I think I like Hex Mage because it also kills your boy. Your boy being any Planeswalker that exists. I do like Air of Falconrath. Which is why I put it in here. Also, there's Bruna, but we don't we don't have any Gisellas. Maybe the real archetype was the deck we made along the way. Maybe. Ooh, I like Patron of the Vein. Destroy a creature and opponent controls. Whenever a creature and opponent controls dies, exile it and put a 1-1 counter on each vampire you control. While it is six mana, we do have Soren Imperious Bloodlord to help with that. Also, Null Priest is good. We're gonna take the We're gonna take this big patron. Lingering Souls is just good. Yeah, we're just going to take a Lingering Souls. That's just a good card.
Windswept Heath gets Rafine's Tower, so I actually kind of like that. I think our deck is pretty good so far. Could a food and beverage cube be made now with all the Walls of Eldraine stuff? Yes, probably. I don't know if there's 540 cards for it, but it's getting close. Oh, Shattered Sanctum came back. Also, Vampire Nocturnus. Oh, boy. I think I gotta go with the Nocturnus. Also, Soren with Vito is really good, too. I gotta go with Nocturnus. Dang it. Dang it, I didn't know what to do. Take this guy. I'll take Doom Foretold, I think. Ever After came back? So I try to make the cube so that like there's not a bunch of cards you don't want. All of the cards are decent, pretty good. I'll take Ambitious Farmhand. All right, we need four cuts. I feel like we need to cut a six drop because this is a lot of six drops. I think we have to cut army or Gristlebrand. I think Gristlebrand's a little better because we can reanimate it if we want to with From the Catacombs. Uh, all these are pretty good. This guy dealing combat damage just gets you blood tokens, which is pretty nuts. Oh, I don't even know when I got Faithful Mending. That might have just been last pick, but... Yeah, we can also take Vampire Slayer out. I think this is pretty good. Fingers crossed they don't get crushed. That would be so embarrassing. I would be so embarrassed. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then we have 10... 11, 12, 13, 14. I think we can go to 8, 13. That seems correct. We don't have any double white except for Sarah on 4. And 8 should be enough for that. But I also want like double black, double black, triple black, quadruple black. Yeah, there were Pump Knights. That's true. I do like a good Pump Knight. Alright. Oh god. It's happening. I hope I don't get wrecked. I will play first. Oh yeah, we can keep this and get a Triome. Multiple arts for many cards, yet hard time IDing cards. Yeah, I can't imagine if we still had the same Fallen Empire system where different cards had different arts. Thank God those days are behind us. High Tide is from Fallen Empires. All four different arts of it. Oh yeah, give me that tower. So two six drops here. Fingers crossed we draw some lands. Lobster Tribal 1. I like that you put a 1 at the end there. I'm sure it was a typo, but I'm still going to hold it against you. This guy. Mm, that's clearly a lady character. Okay. Wow, this really turned into a Fallen Empires <laughs> stand chat. <laughs> 
Oh, I can take all the counters off of Thraben and Lieutenant or Thalia's Lieutenant. Man, what a Okay, this is pretty good. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses life. Get in there. Ooh, Faithbound Judge. It's a defender flying vigilance at the beginning of your upkeep. If Faithbound has two or fewer judgment counters on it, put a judgment counter on it. As long as it has three or more, it can attack as though it doesn't have defender. So it's a 4-4 that takes like two turns to get going and then it has disturb. Creatures you control with flying get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Beautiful angel. Doesn't have haste though, you know? I could also I could also remove their counters with the Vampire Hex Mage. Look at all the combos, man. Look at all the combinations. So if we draw a five drop, we need to do we need to hit land land with this hand. Oh no. Oh no. Don't like that. Land land, at least land one land lets us do this. Okay. Any land lets us play these two. Any spell is probably pretty good, so. Creatures you control gain a lifelink until the end of turn. Is that what we want to do? Think we're just going to kill that thing. All right, so let's see what they're going to do. They're probably going to double block, I would imagine. No, did not double block. So they take 10? That's pretty good. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. Was that the new... Was that, yeah, that was a new killer song. <laughs> Come on, black mana. Or any mana, really. I don't really care. Oh, that's sad. Goodbye, Vito. Oh, yes. Goodbye, Vito. Hmm. Ooh, we're trading. Land. Yes! Okay. I kind of like Liliana negative two here. And then make a guy. But then we lose. If they like have. Like they obviously sacrifice Slayer and Thalia. I think we're just making a vampire here. Or making another angel. Plus twoing this makes this guy a... F it doesn't do anything, actually. Well, yeah, I mean, it just makes cities a 5-5. Five, five. We If they attack, we block here. And Sarah goes back down to three. So that doesn't do anything. If they have any removal for this, then we just... They just kill Sarah, so... Yeah. Uh, I do not get to select the arts for the cube. Also, the only Amano art is in Japanese, so that's why I didn't select the Japanese version. Oh, all right, we just win. Sweet. Vampire Slayer, Devout Decree. Were they white? What was our other color? Sothalian Defender Slayer. I actually forgot their second color. What were their lands? Were they black white? Because they only played white cards. No, they played a forest. So they were white green. As far as I can tell. You guys are saying black white. Black white and green? Oh my god. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll keep this hand. We definitely want some lands. But we have a couple playables. Two four drops, that ain't bad. We're coming to America today. Just made the connection that you built the Eldrazi deck I played back in 2015 before the ban the ban man stole my eyes. <laughs> well, I assume in 2016, that was when the Pro Tour was. But yes. Those were the days. We ate the biscuits in the morning. Look at all these two mana vampires I got that I'll, that I'll try to fly eventually. This guy's the only one that can just fly normally. Uh, gr Grim Climb Pathway. Let's play that. I don't think I want to really discard to Air of Falconrath, so. You built the standard zombie pod deck I used to smash two game days, so thank you. Hey, really appreciate you guys giving me credit for all these things. Good on you, you know? Uh, I think this is better. The only way these guys get flying is if we discard a card, but this one you discard once and it has three power. This one you gotta discard every time you want it to fly, so. I will not block. Okay, so they are black-white. Oh my god, we're just playing the mirror match. Hmm, that's a big dude. I too will play a Seraph from the Scales. Oh, I should have got in there. And then discarded Gristlebrand if they blocked. Man, this guy should be out of there, but he's he's in here and he's good. I'm like 98% sure, sure you didn't build the Jun Legacy deck that I used last night. Well, maybe. Obsidad is a beating, but he can't block, that's for sure. Land. That guy, that guy's pretty good. That guy's kind of like a beating. Hmm. Would love a land here, then we can play. If we can draw land, land, I feel like we might have a chance, but. Wait, where did Obzidak go? Is Obzidak broken? Okay, okay, well, <laughs> we have found, so we do have to replace him. I told you he wasn't good. All right, hold on. That is not as... That's a bummer. <laughs> it just never came back. He's like, uh, fuck off. Oh, God. They have two cards, huh? This guy can't block. We're definitely just blocking here. That, That's what we're going to do. 
Okay. Don't do it. Are they just going to wipe the board? Ooh, that, that's pretty good. Oh, we're at, okay, we're at six. Mm, I think we're, I think that's okay. land i guess we don't need a land we have sarah now how much is how much is our flying damage one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen we can put them to two buttery biscuits well this is all we Shut have up and take my money what just happened Obsidat, I'm taking my lunch. I'll be back in 30 minutes. <laughs> All right. Well, see you later, Obsidat. It was good talking to you. I mean, we'd be at four and they would have had Obsidat attacking as well. Like, that's insane. <laughs> so I'm going to, like, I'm going I'm to let them know after this game that Obsidat just doesn't come back. That's unfortunate. I should be like, oh, that's part of the trick for the trick or treat cube, you see. <laughs> mm, very wily. Well, that's unfortunate. I didn't really. What? Really? Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Definitely soured the cube experience and probably won't play it again because of one obsidat. I, I can't really control that, man. Sorry. All right. <laughs> All right. Round dose. Who even knows, you know? <laughs> well, if it is you. Thanks for the cue. Hopefully this person doesn't hate me after we play. That would be great. I like that your article linked the Cube Cobra. It's a much easier form. Oh, Cube Cobra is fantastic. I've used Cube Cobra for like 15 years now. Just kidding. That's not a real number. I'm just going to crack this and get my thing. There's no point in. Also, Muppet Pastor is my favorite uh, Mexican dish. So I think I maybe I should start leaning into the black-red decks because everyone's going to be drafting, like, black decks. I did not want a Plains here, but that's okay. That's okay. Also, ooh, Murder's Compulsion with Era Falconrath. That is a combination move if I ever heard one. Oh, look at this little homunculus. Oh, that's a guy. A guy I cannot cast. Hmm. I'm very tempted to just not play Veto and keep this up to kill this guy, but that doesn't seem great. Get that Veto. Put in Shadrix. Again, not very horror-y. Just kind of a... Just kind of a normal dragon. <laughs> you guys are very good. You guys are very good at, at, choosing, at choosing horror cube cards.
oh my God, really? You're gonna give me another planes? I think there's only three planes in the deck. I tried to put in Dracula. Some of the cards were supposed to be Draculas. But I don't know if they're even on Magic Online, so that's not a big deal. Yeah, take your one. Oh, Forbidden Alchemy. That guy's good. Black. Ugh. Ah. Oh. Well. Did Headless Horseman from Legends make it in? No, unfortunately. I also didn't put Blood Moon in here before you guys are curious. <laughs> I don't even know what All Hallows Eve does. Let me look up All Hallows Eve. Okay, exile it with two scream counters on it. That's it's pretty flavorful. At the beginning of your upkeep, if All Hallows Eve is exiled with a scream counter, remove a scream counter. If there are no scream counters, put it into your graveyard. Each player returns all cards, creature cards from their graveyard to the battlefield. Well, that's pretty cool, actually. That's just living. It's just like a, it's just living end. That's right. It's just living end. That's pretty cool. Uh, they're only actually if you're attacked. Okay, sure. You know what? You got it. It's also like $600 in real life. It's probably closer to 400, I bet. Yeah, it's about 400. In moderately played condition. Which is the, the condition I think is most acceptable. Okay, that's not... Where are my lands at? I do like Ghost Council of Orzova a lot. But here's the thing. Uh, it falls prey to the same problem that I just mentioned with Obzadet. It's again a, a black white spirit in a in a in an archetype that does not have spirits. So black. Oh my god, we're gonna go to the next game. Actually, they're gonna make us discard. Maybe we discard Gristlebrand and then we from the catacombs. That could be good. Living End is just, we have all, all, all of you at home. <laughs> oh. Yeah, in the article, I even say, like, I'm thinking of taking out Seraph of the Scales. So, like, I mentioned the archetypes and, like, how I don't want cards that are not in those archetypes. Hmm. It appears they have beaten me to it. It's pretty good. I don't think we're going to have any sort of answer for that. That That is not going to do it, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, so we're definitely bringing in Purge, you. Devout Decree. Probably take out Old Corgi. Oh, DRR, thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it. All Hot Eve could have won that game. Not for me. They took my guy out before I even had a chance. Wedding invite is... Draw a card. Second target creature can be locked if it's a vampire. Kane's lifelink. What a cute card for me to have included. I'm so smart. <laughs> Um, they have Liliana. Vampire Hex Mage seems decent. 
Definitely taking out one planes. Four planes is too many. What do you think? Four, did you guys say 41 cards? Is that what you said? I thought I heard you say 41 cards. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Oh, five drop, six drop, six drop, eh? Fascinating. Just going to do the same. There's no wastelands in here. They're not going to do anything to my Rafine's Tower. I'm not going to get anything different. We're just trying to speed up the gameplay here. Okay. I do like that Kurt mentioned Brim's Barone Midway Mobster. That's pretty funny. <laughs> now I'm going to look up what Brim's does, because I wouldn't have thought this was a real card. Is it not a real card? It has to be a... It has to be a card, right? I thought it was an SNC card. Yeah, here it is. Human Rogue for five. That's interesting. Brims is in quotes, but when I look for Brims, it doesn't come up. Huh. When it enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each other creature. Oh, this is not from SNC. It's from Unfinity. Which is basically... It's basically the same thing. Okay. I hope I draw a four drop because then after that I'm set. I'm set for the rest of the game. Oh, a little ongoing investigation, eh? Uh, 41 cards is how you Pro Tour, actually. I literally, my draft decks when I 3 0'd and at the Pro Tour and at the Grand Prix following were consistently 41 cards. So it's actually, there's, there's actually no real. Like, statistically, it's almost inconsequential. Okay, okay. Look at all these treasures they're making. Okay, I think we're actually... I think this Blood Baron's going to be a... a solid gentleman here. Oh, yeah. Pro-black? Pro-white? What do you even do against that? Nothing. Don't kill it. Look at the top four cards. Put two of those in your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Did you consider any putting any Fibblethip cards in here? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> Look. This is a 1-1? One, one? I thought this was a 2-2. Two, two. I thought it was a 2-2. Two, two. Or 2-1, rather. But it doesn't matter. Uh, I think we just shoot that gentleman. <laughs> that sounds terrible when you say it like that. Totally lost that opportunity. I don't want you to come visit anymore. I've changed my mind. Pew! I don't want this guy to really flip, so... I mean, it's not like they're that close to it. Oh, this is the one I was looking at. Unblinking Observer is the 2-1. Okay. Very similar. Similar, but different, you know? That guy's good. Actually, Blood Baron might be too good. <laughs> This card's, this card's a beating. Let's see what we can hit here. Hanged Executioner. Three, so we can actually play this, kill this, kill this. Hmm. Fascinating. 
They have seven cards in hand. That's a lot. I'm just going to try to kill Soren here. Hmm. Play this guy. And then just keep it up. Keep it up! Could have also put Liliana up to six. Well, I think taking two is fine. Affinity, appreciate the command, buddy. Good call. Master of Death. Okay, so do a big reveal. Mm, four is pretty good. So this guy is a beating. I'm tempted to just play Liliana and <laughs> make everybody sack, but that seems almost too good. Yeah, that's going to get rid of Blood Baron, which is a 10-10 flyer. <laughs> hmm. Okay, don't have anything we can do. End of turn. Hmm. Crystal Brand. Soren's Vengeance. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> seven. So so seven from Soren's. Soren flipped Soren's Vengeance, dealing seven from Soren's Vengeance. And then I could have cast Soren's Vengeance to deal ten. That was a, that's a lot of damage. Very thematic. Very thematic flip that we did.
Uh, all that damage has really soured my cube experience. I probably won't play again. Yeah. That's how it goes, isn't it? Two three drops and a four drop and a five drop and a six drop. If we can hit lands consistently on the pull on the draw, I think we're actually quite good here. That's that'll do. So now we have two three drops. <laughs> that was a good flip. That was me who said that, and I laughed because I thought it was a funny thing to say. Under the sea. Oh, that guy's good. That makes me sad. I don't want to deal with that thing. Oh no, I don't have a two drop? I thought it was turn three. Oh shit. Oh, biscuits. Oh yeah, I, I, we got some significant high high costers oh this is this is not gonna be oh this is gonna be rough if if i cast lingering souls and it puts two tokens into play does that count as two spells so the guy flips back or no asking for a friend <laughs> Oh, where were you last turn? Could have saved us some embarrassment. Well, that's how our opponent made us discard Liliana. And then they from the catacombed it. Alright, well this is an easy block. And this is an impossible block. That dude's on a boat. You can't block things that are on boats. That's a good one. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Okay. Okay. Well, that's helpful. I think it's just blood sworn into murderous compulsion on the seafaring werewolf. Like, I just can't have them drawing extra cards every single turn, you know? Even though they're going to do that with this guy anyway. Well, I'm Blood Baron. Creatures with boating can only be blocked by other creatures with boating. And dams. That's <laughs> Curus inventing new, uh, new, new MTG. Uh, what's the MTG Martha's Vineyard Hamptons mechanics? <sighs> what about creatures of bloating? Well, they can't block anybody usually. Interesting. Did they choose not to put it in their hand? They definitely put it in their hand. Okie dokie. Artichoke. Do they have a counter spell? How many counter spells do I have in here? I do have a few. Well, we're not going to attack because then they just kill Edgar in response with this flash invasion. So that's a bum bum. They're going to do it anyway. Monsters. Absolute monsters. Yep. Okay. Well, we got a coffin. 
Edgar's coffin. And then we get some vampire, some one ones. Do they float? No, it's got lifelink though. I could use some lifelink. Well, at least they only have seven cards in hand. Creepy or MTG family? The Markovs or the Sengears? That's a great question. I think the Sengears are creepier. Oh, they're just going to attack their little their little invasion. Stop playing stuff. That's fine. Yeah, the Sengears have a bunch of creepy... The Sengears look creepy on their cards. The Markovs look eloquent and dashing. Land. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna be honest, man. These two threes with float are just actually really gumming things up here. This guy's a real pain in the in the bee hole, you know. You know what I'm saying? Let's look. Let's look for clues in the Uncle Isvan flavor text. That'll. I don't think I don't think Uncle Isvan is the card you're thinking of. I think you're thinking of. I know the card you're thinking of, and it's not Uncle Isvan. I think you were thinking of Sengir Autocrat, which looks like this, because that's what I was thinking of. <laughs> Uncle Cracker, huh? All right, well, I'm going to block one so they don't just immediately flip this thing. Man, we get another vampire? Oh, come on. Just one time. Give me that. Give me that sweet, sweet land. Don't play like a Jace. Don't do Jace. Don't do Jace Unraveler of Secrets. Unraveler of Mysteries? Don't do Jace the Unraveler. Son of a biscuit. <sighs> Man. Their tempo game. Very strong. Okay, don't say come job witches. <laughs> Does I sick at the end like the spelling was intentional? <laughs> Jesus God. Okay, so what happens when they get this? It's just the enchantment, right? They make two two twos. Oh, if we have lingering souls too, that's pretty good. I mean, we're just going to play Blood Baron, I'm sure. Again. But. We are going to attack Jace. And then attack Soren with both of these. Oh, we can't attack Soren with both? That's unfortunate. Because, you know, that's not how creatures work. But I'll trade a... I think I think it's draw two more cards. Yeah, I guess that's what happens when you're talking about cards that came out, like, 30 years ago. Because this at least puts Jace in a position where... Actually, is it just Lingering Souls? Heir of Falconrath, I wonder. Because then we actually get to block these guys. I think Michael is doing big snoozle. Could be actually Hanged Executioner and Lingering Souls as well. That could be the play. That puts four bodies on the board. Yeah, let's do that.
Oh, what up, Headology? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. This is a boomer stream, so. That's just how it goes, you know? We've all been playing Magic for 37 years, and, uh, you know, this is how it is. Oh, good times. Gen X, huh? Spoken like a true boomer. My back going out two weeks ago would make one think otherwise. Yeah. It's okay. If your knees, your back, or what else? There's something else, right? There's a third, there's like a, a bodily trifecta that that goes wrong. Get off my windswept teeth. <laughs> uh, or my wind brisk heights for that matter. Yeah, yeah, colon. That's the one. That's the one I was thinking of, obviously. God, I really hope your colon doesn't go. Exile up to one card from a graveyard. Draw a card. They just digging? <laughs> I want to. I want to trade this chat in for a new one. Can I do that? I should have like five years. There's a period of wandering, wandering the globe. There, were you wandering the globe or wandering the globe? I don't like this. This feels not okay. I guess we have we have hanged executioner though, so that's good. <laughs> I think the best has a right. Don't don't encourage them. Okay, so I think it's gonna flip. So I might as well. <sighs> do I just chump twice, or do I actually kill one? Let them flip this thing. I think we just I think we just triple block here. The kids do say bet. And I feel like they use it backwards. Don't bounce my Edgar. He was just gonna come back. Uh, mistakes were made. I should not have let them have that then. I didn't realize they were casting it. I just thought it like kind of transformed and went into play. Lesson learned. That was a big, that was a big mistake. Well, Edgar does come back though. So that's not nothing. Oh, that would have been great if we could have hit our sixth land. So we have one flyer at least. Hmm. Yeah, like so when people when I was when I when I first heard bet, I was like, it's like a challenge, right? Like I don't think it's gonna happen. Like I'll take that bet. You know what I mean? Like even in poker, when you say bet, you're like challenging them. You're basically saying like, okay, I'll bet. I don't think you have it. Like you're saying like you're calling their bluff basically. So like when, when bet meant the opposite, it means like, oh, all right, cool. I'm like, wait, that's doesn't make any sense. Like it's the exact opposite meaning of the word bet. <sighs> so needless to say, it led to, frustration as a as a boomer who did not understand the children's terminology all right so let's attack i guess we're getting rid of jace here i like the word riz 
<laughs> oh boy. Oh, I think letting I think letting this flip was probably the game changing. We'd still have hang, hang, hanged executioner. We can get rid of this guy. Um, they wouldn't have two zombies, and like we would be free to attack with a bunch of guys. Like that was actually pretty humongoid mistake, I think. YouTube comments are gonna be lit, bet. Have you seen the Glizzy Overdrive TikTok? <laughs> you know, based on the name, I don't think I have. I feel like I would remember that. Yeah, probably not going to pull it up on stream. Oh, I think I'm going to lose just because of this stupid flip. I wish I just double blocked or, you know, they're never going to let me, they're never going to let me exile anything ever again. Yeah, at first I was like, this cube is not busting, no cap. And I was like, bet. I think their deck is good. I just want to hit that patron mana. Give me that patron one time so I can get rid of this, this hull bussy. So this guy's a 4-5. I guess we're just going to chump here. Because I don't want to take 7,000 damage. Uh, there's not a players can't gain life card because it's like it's... It's not really on theme. <laughs> and like the life gain is just part of vampires. Fingers crossed that this does what I want it to do. What? No. No! <laughs> what? Guys, light snare. I think that's the end. Wow. That is. Not great, Bob. I'm going to concede. I should not have let that deluge of the dead resolve like that changed the entire game. I, I, um, yeah, when it's defeated, exiled and casted transformed, it's very rare that transform cards are getting cast, um, from it. Like once they transform, like usually you're just exiling them, putting them back into play or they don't even leave play and they just flip. So it's really interesting. Interesting. I bit my tongue there. It's very interesting that these specifically get cast, um, I'll just remember that from now on. <laughs> That's just just lesson learned there, you know. Magic Boomer learns his cube as he goes. Yeah, and also uh Geist Light Snare also they had the enchantment. So again, like oh I guess they had they had um ongoing investigation anyway, so it's not like they were lacking an enchantment if I didn't let this flip. Look at this stack though, man. This card, I think this would have been like game changing as well though. We would have been able to kill this guy. These three would have gotten one, one counters. So. I Googled sour MTG trying to find a meme and MTG trolley gummies popped up. I think they're real. Oh God. 
close that. Oh no, where did did that just make the game disappear? I don't even know. I guess we'll. Oh, cool. All right, here we go. Everything is fine. Okay. I will assume we'll draw early vampires or late vampires to put into play. Oh, a little hard evidence, eh? We're playing against old Andy Lemon Bar. <laughs> Classic. Oh, geez. Maybe I should have actually cycled this. I don't know. This is six mana, though, so watch. I would just not draw six land at any point. Oh. Oh. That's a combination maneuver. Would you like to let this Soren resolve? I have my doubts that you will. Dang, man. Geistlight Snare is getting me. This is a 540 card cube, and I just got Geistlight. The last three plays of the game were Geistlight Snares in two different matches. Pretty wild. What does this guy do? Tap a creature or target creature doesn't untap. I like it. I'm glad I put it in here. Don't guys light me, bro. Um, play you. Okay, that's enough lands though. I'm I'm good on lands. Thanks. I can hear Michael got his COVID vax uh, last night so that dude's been been in rough shape today and now he's doing a big snooze oh my god you're gonna brutal cathar my token <laughs> this, is, this is emotional I thought our deck was good and now we're getting wrecked Oh, uh, he will hop on occasionally. Oh, that's that's a card. So I'd like to think our four cards are better than their four cards, even though we have two lands. So, okay, well, that is a card. Interesting. Oh dear. Well, Soren is worse or uh, Liliana's negative four is worse now. Oh, good gravy. Lingering souls. I'm one mana shy of both doing this and casting a lingering souls. If we negative one Soren to kill this block here, Soren takes one, two, three, four. He still survives. They have silent departure, so that's unlikely. Wow, Kaisonard Monk is really good there. So we sacrifice two creatures, they just sacrifice the spirits. If we kill this, we take three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, we need to sacrifice crab and spirit. We go to five. It's not great. They tap blood. I mean, like having silent departure in the graveyard along with Geist Honored Monk makes this feel pretty unwinnable.
You remember when Neil Diamond wrote the song Heartlight about E.T. like a year after it came out? I don't remember that. <laughs> what in the fuck? Oh, Lord. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So everybody's coming in. One, two, three, take two. Okay, man, they just got all the spirit hits. Good grief. That's not going to do it. Let's play it as a white. I don't think we're going to need a sixth black source. Good grief. I think we're just dead here. So, like, we play Soren and kill this guy. They tap one guy, bounce the other. We take six, seven. Yeah, we're just dead. Good gravy. So, white, blue. Black or red? Black or red? What does farmhand do? Uh... Listen to, that, listen to that flipping. Hmm. Is the horror in this cube having to play it? Well, considering it's mine, I, I would hope not. Like, it's a weird thing to say. Uh, I have a ton of cheap creatures and things in this deck, and I just don't feel like I'm hitting them. Although, like, this hand is good. Hmm... We have all the colors we want. I feel like I just have to keep this hand. Ugh. All right, let's hit a three drop. Fingers crossed. Huh, that is a three drop. Well, I'll be. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Rattle chains, you got it. You can have hex proof. Well, I will not block because I cannot. All right. Well done. So they have a spirit, so they're just going to Geist Light Snare whatever we play here. Because all cards in this cube are Geist Light Snare, it seems. Um, so I guess I'd rather have Nocturnus countered than Edgar. Yep, there it is. Three times in the past two games. I will not pay it.
no play. I'm sure that's gonna. I'm sure that doesn't mean anything precarious. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah. Good. Good clarification, Stu. Okay, well, yep. Six land seems to be the spot where I just don't draw lands anymore. Five land, I should say, seems like that spot. They just go land, silent departure, attack for four. This is a solid tempo deck. Oh, interesting. Lingering Souls. Hmm. So they just sacrificed two of these little idiots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, Edgar can't block anything, so might as well get in there. Then they silent departure this guy. We take one, two, three, four, five, six. We go to three. It's not looking good. Drog Skull Captain. I think we just went one, two in our own cube for the first time. I'm okay with it. It's a little hurt. It's a little painful, but I'll manage. Okay. 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 <laughs> Old Andy Lemon Bar was the real deal. I messed up, man. I think they have to block here if we attack. All right. I think we're close. I don't know if we can... I don't know if we can do it, but I think we're actually doing okay. This might be the moment. Sell departure of that guy. Sure. With one mana, we block. Oh, we actually have to... We actually have to exile this guy now. Oh, 
Oh, they're holding one back, huh? We go to two. <laughs> uh, this is so close. So they block here. <laughs> they go to two. We're at two. Do we sacrifice two creatures with Liliana? That's the question. And then they have one spirit token. We have a Liliana. This is a stressful game. Does that mean we can play Cordial Vampire? I don't think we've played a land this turn. Nice. All right. Here we go. We are in the shit still because they attack for one. We attack for one. They kill us. Okay. All right. That's fine. Artifact creature enchantment, right? So they got rid of Edgar. Okay. Another creature dies, but one encounter on each vampire. So if we can kill a vampire, or kill a creature rather, then we should be able to win here. That's not going to let us do that. I think we're I think we're losing, even though we're so close. Oh man. Another vampire dies, but one encounter on each vampire you control. Wow. That's really... That is painful. Nothing... Nothing can help here. Ah... <sighs> Wait, this can block... No, it can't block. Okay. For some reason, these two lines of text ran together. My kingdom for a way to kill one creature. Man. Yep, yeah, that'll do, pig. And Avison's judgment is bugged? Oh, man. Brutal. I'll, I'll let them know. Uh, that would be the end. Thank you guys for watching. Sad little one-two on our first outing with our own cube. But what are you going to do? I had a good time. I thought the matches went well. Um, I'm also learning what things I would like to adjust for the future. So that's good, useful information to have. So thank you guys for hanging out and I'll see you next time.